major objectives of cyber security are to protect the important asset which is nothing but information and other physical infrastructures from major threats attacks and challenges the cyber attacks take many forms today due to the technological sophistications cyber advisories employ automated and intelligent mechanisms to launch very critical and refined types of attacks which are very difficult to handle mostly these attacks are launched at very low cost too so keeping pace with the advancements in technology the cyber security policies strategies and operations can be a great challenge to the government business organizations why not even to an individual cyber threats aim at critical political and infrastructural assets of a nation or its people one of the trickiest elements of cyber security is a quickly and constantly evolving nature of security risks the traditional approaches have attended the attacks on critical systems and protected them from biggest known threats this automatically left the less important systems unattended and less dangerous risks unnoticed this is not a good practice in today's environment i would like to quote here adam winson the cto of public sector at layer 7 technologies the security service provider to federal agencies including defense department organizations he describes a problem as follows cyber threat is advancing quicker than one can keep up with it the threat changes at a very faster rate than the idea of the risk it is no longer possible to write a large white paper about the risk to a particular system one would be rewriting the white paper con- constantly what a testimony for today's a level of cyber threats many more such incidents publications and sayings can be quoted just like this to justify the need for cyber security proactive and adaptive approaches are the need of the hour again nist the national institute of standards and technology recently issued the updated guidelines in risk assessment framework that recommends a shift towards continuous monitoring and real time assessments so this basically um, throws us some important uh, concepts like understanding some of the main terminologies like vulnerability threat attack and risk of course we have been using these terms so far interchangeably but there are lot of differences as far as these terms are concerned let me just explain to you one after the other vulnerability any weakness in the system product or process that comprises the basic security principles thereby the system becomes more susceptible to attacks threat when there is a possibility for violation of security due to circumstance or capability or action or event it may cause harm so threat is a possible danger to assets the third is attack it is a deliberate attempt to evade security services and violate the security policy of a system the most dangerous next comes the risk the possibility of suffering a loss risk is a fundamental part of operations it is not something to fear but something to manage but any risk unnoticed or unobserved in the system may lead to vulnerability and subsequently to cyber attacks we know the types of cyber threats are increasing in the landscape by two because of two important technological trends one is the iot internet of things that is connecting everything to the internet the second one is data proliferation that is the amount of data that is thrown out of this exchange so the speed with which the malware spread the multitude of organizations harmed which include the critical infrastructure and the serious obstacles in restoring the corrupted data once again underline today's priority of cyber security the cyber attacks on the information and data on the internet 
can affect three fundamental principles of cyber security namely confidentiality integrity and availability we are going to discuss them in detail in the coming sections there are three common categories of cyber threats based on this we call in short as triads that is confidentiality integrity and availability as the triad they they are the attacks on confidentiality attacks on integrity and attacks on availability let's first look into the attacks on confidentiality stealing or rather copying the target's personal information for example attacks like credit card fraud identity theft or stealing bitcoin wallets these are some of the examples confidentiality attacks are the major portion of work of the international spies to acquire confidential information for once again the political military or economic gains so they are very very serious threats next comes the attacks on integrity the common name used here is sabotage integrity attacks seek to corrupt damage or destroy the information or systems and the people who rely on the information so here the offenders may range from script kiddies to international or national level attackers next comes the attacks on availability preventing a target from accessing by the genuine users is a most frequent occurrence today for example the ransomware and the denial of service attacks ransomware encrypted the target's data and demanded a ransom to decrypt it whereas a denial of service attack also known as dos attacks dos attacks typically in the form of distributed denial of service we call them as ddos attack floods a network resource with request making it unavailable due to jam once again i would like to quote the world economic forums report the report of the world economic forum predicts the necessity for few approaches to handle the cyber attacks and failure will have a severe impact of approximately 3 trillion us dollars by 2020 cyber threats have now opened up new channels through social media as well as mobile technologies all the threats ultimately lead to the breach of data privacy and security following are some of the emerging challenges for data protection and cyber security they are the connected environment more reliance on ict increasing number of users and adoption of technology increasing number of smart devices and access unrestricted or open access to information lack of control mechanisms international dimensions increasing speed of data exchange process scope for anonymous communication growing sophistication of threats movement of threats to mobile sphere the big data myth lack of preparedness to handle the upcoming challenges this is very very important next comes the compliance versus the risk management and finally the inadequate and restricted handling of related crimes legally or the legal challenges this is also dealt in this course so the main cyber security risks arise due to the increasing population and the better placement of technology to handle the challenges like the dependency on ict and complete automation proper identification of threats that impact the organizations capability to conduct business is the very important need of the day therefore risk assessment is imperative for every organization that depends completely on ict infrastructure and automation of their activities risk assessment also provides proper measures processes and controls to reduce the impact of risks the organizations face today in this digital era when everything is accessed and operated through cyberspace security is an important concern 
to understand the need for cyber security different incidents statistical reports are presented lack of security may lead to setbacks in financial matters personal and professional operations important terms related to cyber security and different types of cyber threats are also covered cyber security is a broader term which protects all the hardware devices like routers switchers and servers etc software information and the data that are part of the cyber space the security principles and challenges are also brought forward for your kind consideration thank you learners we'll meet in the next week course soon